a tribute to a journalism icon and his lasting legacy. A mural of Philadelphia native Ed Bradley is closer to completion thanks to those who continue to inspire by the late CBS News correspondent. John Bell is here now and you spent some time done with some young people yeah. who have a key role in this mural they're putting Guys, together. It was a special day. Mm, it's a special sure. day as you'll see. Uh, you know, 11 years ago, the CBS family lost one of journalism's all-time greats. In 2006, Ed Bradley lost his fight with leukemia. While working his, on the mural has just begun, we are already getting a sense of its lasting impact. To some, this is just a wall. To others, much more. I saw and appeared before my living eyes was this beautiful, beautiful canvas of a wall. 949 Belmont Avenue in West Philadelphia, the future home of a Philly original. Good evening in Tehran tonight. The American Embassy is... For 26 years, Ed Bradley smoothly shined as a correspondent for 60 Minutes, a courageous trailblazer known for bold questions and powerful interviews, a role model for millions to watch and on this corner for thousands more to see in the form of a mural. I'm contacting Mural Arts. I go ahead, you know, Ed Bradley would be great. Um, so I saw the application and I reached out to various um, people, shared information with his widow, Patricia, and everybody was in love with the idea to honor Ed Bradley with a mural. Murals talk about our histories, our stories, our struggles, our aspirations. With that, an artistic vision to celebrate Bradley was born. And to make this idea a reality, the Philly Mural Arts Program chose 30 students from Philly to help with the process which began with an educational field trip. First, they took a two-hour bus ride to New York to visit CBS headquarters to learn about journalism and walk in Bradley's footsteps. To see you guys walk in and say, wow, this is so cool and so great. After snapping photos in famed Studio 57, Bradley's widow was there as the kids began to paint the actual sheets of cloth that will be used for the mural. This mural is very much a celebration of Ed. It's also a celebration of Philadelphia and all of the great people that Philadelphia has produced like Ed. But it's also really, for me, most importantly, a celebration of each and every one of you. I'm going to remember that I got to paint on a mural about a very important person and the good times I had here with my friends. It's unique. It's just nice. It's, I like it. It's nice. Proud? Yeah. But the students and artists had help. Thanks to 60 Minute staffers like Bill Whitaker and the legendary Leslie Stahl, their memories of Ed are as vivid as the paint on their brushes. He just had this integrity, strength. He wasn't going to be pushed around, but if, if he objected to something, it was always for the right reason. And, um, and he was fun. He was really fun. Information is our, it's like gold. It, 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 um, it's, it's necessary. And he was the best purveyor of information that we had. Ed Bradley lived a full life, big and bold with masterful strokes, just like the artwork that will bear his face and name. It's in an arc of his career, from radio to television, um, the fact that he was always connected to his city of Philadelphia, he never forgot about his city, and it's really about just sort of celebrating what he's done. The CBS Corporation is happy to join with the Ed Bradley Family Foundation to fund the mural, which will be revealed on November 9th. And also, big shout out to the Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists and to Bradley's alma mater, Cheney University. Both are playing big roles in the creation of that beautiful mural that you mm -hmm. saw there in the piece. Mm -hmm. Like Patricia said, it is a celebration. It is no indeed. doubt about it. It's yeah. great to see. I can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, it's going to be it's amazing. Great. Huge. November. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Appreciate it. Still to come on I